talking with a host of the Glen Ralston girls here today after their 14 to nothing uh, two, three inning uh, victory over Adair Casey. We're going to start off with Meredith Grossman here today. Uh, Meredith, nice catch for you out in center field uh, to end that first inning. Uh, talk about making that play here today. Um, I don't know. I just ran up on it and got it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the ball well off of the bat today? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was going through your mind when you saw that? Because she struck, Lauren struck out the first two batters she faced, but were you kind of focused and ready to go defensively there? Yeah, I, was, I knew that there were at least two hitters on the team, so I knew that I should be ready just in case they hit it. Okay. Defensively, do you feel like as, with the little chances you guys got, you played well today? Yeah. Talk about the hitting wise. Uh, you've been laying down some bunts this year. How'd you feel at the plate today? Good. This is my first time hitting left on varsity, so pretty good. What was different for the transition from you there from hitting right over to hitting left? Um, I was pretty used to it since I always hit left on JV. So. <laughs> Runs came kind of easy for your girls tonight. Yeah. Uh, what are these kind of games like? Uh, I guess after last night from going against that hard of a team, this is kind of just a easier team to play against, so it was better. <laughs> what do you feel like your strengths have been at the plate this year? I'm um, just bunting, really. I need to work on my swing, though, so. What do you got to fix with your swing? Um, I guess I drop my shoulder and swing for the fence a lot of the time, so. Looking for home runs? No. No? Yes. Then why are you swinging for the fence? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, Meredith, appreciate you joining us. Good job out here okay, today. Let's talk now with Grace McNamara. Grace, a pretty good day at the plate for you as well. Had a nice little line shot there uh, back towards the pitcher. Uh, talk about how you felt at the plate today. Oh, well, sometimes I feel like if it's a slower pitcher, I'm very eager to hit it, so I don't wait for a good pitch, and I swing at balls. But So the first time I... <clears throat> They dropped third strike, so I ran and got on base. And then the second time I hit it and got an RBI, but I got out at first. So. Uh, talk about how you make that adjustment to when all of a sudden you have a slower pitcher. Uh, we have to wait a lot. We have trouble with that, but we just need to learn to wait for the ball to come across the play so it can go where it needs to go instead of just, I mean, like I like to do, and just roll. But. <laughs> how different was it, uh, and how quickly did you feel like you made that adjustment uh, after seeing Rachel Smith last night? Oh, man. Uh, it was pretty easy considering that Rachel is one of the like one of the only fast pitchers really fast so we're used to slow pitchers we're just not we still have trouble with it if that makes any sense but um, it was a lot different that's for sure how nice was it getting this win coming back after last night's loss it feels really good to get this win because we um, I don't know, we just needed the confidence boost, I guess, because it, we didn't win against our Weba and it just was kind of hard on us because, I don't know, we want to do really well and it's our senior year, so we want to finish out strong. Talk about what the senior year's been like so far. It's been really good. Um, we've gotten better defensively a lot, and I think, and we just need to work on our bats and I think we'll be really good. Well, Grace, appreciate you joining us here. Take a good job today. Thank you. Let's move over now uh, to Kaylee Weber. Kaylee working behind the plate today, catching as you always do. Uh, how did you feel back there today, and how do you feel like you and Lauren worked together? Uh, it felt really good today. Lauren was hitting her spots pretty well, and I feel like Lauren and I, we have a really good connection. We have a good relationship, so it makes it that much more fun to catch for. What were you calling today? What was she wanting to throw? We were throwing a lot of curve balls and a couple rise balls, and those are working really well for her today. <laughs> when you have a situation like this where it seems like she's rolling, you're in a rhythm with her calling pitches, how fun is that behind the plate? It's a lot of fun, and we get to try out pitches that we don't always get to throw. You know, We just kind of save them for times like this to practice them a little bit, so it's always fun. What were some of the different pitches you threw today that maybe you hadn't thrown all year? She was throwing drop balls today, which she hasn't thrown, and then she was throwing a few knuckleballs too. How did they work? Uh, knuckleball was a little rough, but her drop ball was really good. <laughs> now, how'd you feel at the plate today? Picked up a couple of hits. It seemed like you were swinging the bat pretty well. Yeah, uh, I struck out the first time, but uh, then I made contact with the ball. It's a little bit difficult coming off of Rachel Smith to such a slow pitcher, and I see. it seems like when I face a slow pitcher, I just think too much, so that's kind of my downfall. But. How do you try to adjust that where you try not to think so much? I just try to wait as long as possible to hit it, and I usually end up hitting it to right field because I wait a little bit too long, but at least I make contact. With it. What's this senior year been like for you so far? 
It's been great. I think we've really come together as a team. Uh, we've been through some hard times, but we're coming back even stronger than we were at the beginning of the season, and I'm ready to start our district games and see where we can go. Well, best of luck, Kayla. Congratulations. Let's move over to the final interview here today. <laughs> Steph Slechta and Steph, a good day for you at the plate yes. here today. Hit the ball pretty well. How are you feeling in your role with this team this year? Um, I'm feeling good. I'm one of the three captains, and I just try to do my part as best, try to um, keep the dugout focused, Try to make everybody like positive, and if somebody gets down, I try to help them um, get up. Cause like if, if somebody gets down, everybody gets down, so we don't need that. Uh, you got on third, scored a few times today. Uh, a couple of close plays at the yeah. plate. Uh, talk about those. Um, I don't know. I just I saw they were gonna throw it, so I just went in there, just ran in there, and I didn't slide. I know I should have, but <laughs> I knew they were gonna throw it, so I didn't. How quick do you think you have to make that decision whether or not you're sliding or not? Um, right away. You just have to go if you're going to slide. <laughs> <laughs> How fun is this, these kind of games where the team kind of rolls, everybody seems to be playing well? Just relaxed and everybody's upbeat, positive, everybody having a fun time and we're just enjoying our, each other and having fun together. What's this team got to do to be successful with districts right around the corner? Um, we just have to be really, we just need to be positive, going into the game focused and knowing that we're going to come out with a win. What do you think has been your strength at the plate this season? Um, just I just go in there and be relaxed and no, just being positive and know I'm going to hit the ball because if I think um, if I'm not thinking it, then I'm not going to. And so that's what I try to do. Try to get um, line drives. Well, I appreciate you joining us today, Steph. Congratulations on a big win. Thank you.